Uh, the magnetic field of the Earth uh, is in decline. It has been for the last 2,000 years. It looks like the, uh, a chart on the, the New York Stock Exchange on a bad day. <laughs> uh, it's it started uh, declining. It's never gone back. Uh, so we're at the lowest point in planetary magnetics now that we have been uh, in, in the last 2,000 years. We have seen Earth have this experience in the geologic record. We've seen this happen at least 14 times in the last four and a half million years. And every time it happens, it, it precedes a, a, a flip, a 180 degree reversal of the magnetic field. So they get weaker and weak. The magnetic fields decline. They get weaker and weaker and weaker until they drop to zero for a, a period of a few days, it looks like. Uh, then the field reverses, and what used to be North Pole is South, South Pole becomes North, and the fields begin to get stronger and stronger and stronger. The last time this happened uh, looked like it was around maybe nine, nine to 11,000 years ago. Now, we, it is shifting and moving, and now time is speeding up. I found all of this began about 2003, that's when it began to be obvious, as with the shifting was occurring. And a lot of people don't really know what's going on, all they know is something is happening and they're feeling different about it. But um, as it shifts, your body has to adjust with it because your frequencies and vibrations have to match the Earth's yes. as it moves. Absolutely. The other ones that are into negativity will stay where they are. But if you want to move with the old earth, you're going to have to, to, to change your vibration and frequencies. And um, there are a lot of physical things happening right now that people are noticing. And a lot of them go to the doctors and they say there's nothing wrong with them. This is because, as I said, you can't change your frequency instantly, it would destroy the body. It has to be done gradually. So, you may notice these symptoms for a few days, and then it will go away for a month or so, and then you'll notice them again, and there will just be on and off symptoms. What are some of the most common symptoms? That's what I was oh, going okay. to tell you. <laughs> okay. All right. Because this is the body adjusting to the frequency. Some of the most common symptoms are high blood pressure, heart palpitations, dizziness, depression, body aches and pains, especially in the joints, um, nausea, headaches, but the depression and the dizziness is one that people talk a lot about, and also the heart palpitations and the high blood pressure. And they go to the doctor, the doctor can't find anything wrong. Of course, they're gonna put them on pills anyway. Oh yeah, you're on Lipitor right off the bat, right? Oh, all of it. All of it. And they said it doesn't do any good because it's gone in a few days. And they say, if you know what's happening, you can write it out. But the older people are the ones that are going to have the hardest time because their body has a lot harder time adjusting to all of these frequencies. The children, you don't worry about them. They're coming in with all of the frequencies already in place, they're already adjusted. It's the ones in the middle, the second and third waves are the ones that are gonna notice this the most. Right now, the magnetic pole, pole is moving into Siberia. It's so far away from true, true north, causing huge problems inside of the Earth. I mean, these are not little things, they're really big. And the, uh, and the, uh, these problems now are being recorded around the world. There's 35 major diseases that are being occur that are occurring all around the world that are, and, and which until recently, we didn't know why they were being caused, uh, and, and now we know that what's causing them is the, is the separation between true north, physical pole, and magnetic north, which is now a long ways away from there, and changing more every day, getting further and further away from it. And uh, in Russia, in Moscow, they, uh, they have now released this information. Uh, stating that this is what's going on, that the magnetic pole is making a lot of people sick. One of these problems is something that people have been talking about for about 15 to 20 years, and that's this ringing in the ears that so many people have. 
Uh, it's about 15 to 20 percent of the population has this, and uh, and nobody knew why. And now the Russians have been able to scientifically document that what's causing that is the is the magnetic field um, getting weaker and weaker and weaker, and to the point right now where it is ready to actually shift itself to uh, um, the south becomes the north, and the north becomes the south. You won't have any problem with any. Uh, scientists on Earth uh, not accepting that as a fact. It, it is, uh, it's actually happening.